We're at the Ozark Folk Center State Park in Mountain View with Superintendent John Morrow and you're going to show us around today. Absolutely, Ashley. It's going to be a great time. Here at the Ozark Folk Center in Mountain View, Arkansas, uh, this wonderful state park has got the only craft village for the Arkansas State Park System. And this artisan craft village of 20 different shops scattered throughout two different levels here on this hill uh, are where we practice and promote and also do a lot of teaching of Ozark crafts and Ozark handiwork. We have a lot of music. Uh, a lot of music takes place not only here but throughout the town. Woo! <laughs> Scattered throughout the park are the Heritage Herb Garden. And I'll tell you what, it's been an incredible thing to see all of this go through the whole seasons in bloom and at different points in time. Let's go peek around this side and see Sam at the blacksmith shop. All of our crafters are artisans in their own right. I mean, Sam makes some wonderful items. It's not just we're going to demonstrate how things were done in the old days. We're going to make something that's useful and artistic for your home today. I've seen a lot of bellows in my day and that's a big one. Oh my God! I've got the best smelling shop here. <laughs> Miss Linda is one of our artisans. Not only makes a lot of this, she teaches about a lot of it. So pretty, very peaceful. Well, this is the broom shop. Uh, we've had a broom shop in operation since the park opened almost 50 years ago. And I'll tell you what, it is one of the neatest crafts that we have. This is one of our newest artisans, paper craft shop. And what we have is origami, quilling, paper flowers, Sharon Chenette, which is the silhouette cuttings. There's paper mache, handmade paper, and watercolor originals here on the wall. That's what? a beautiful piece you're working on, Miss Donna. Thank you very much. This is a piece I'm, I've uh, drawn to um, teach in June, next June. This is, I call it summer solstice. Hey, John. Hey, Ashley. Thanks for showing me around today. Absolutely. Great to have you here at the Ozark Folk Center State Park. As soon as you drive into town, you know that you're somewhere special. We're at Historic Washington State Park, and I cannot wait to discover the history. Well, I guess the appropriate thing to do be start at the beginning, here at the Visitor Center, the 1874 Courthouse. And this street is actually the course of the Old Southwest Trail. And Washington came into existence as an incorporation uh, of a town in 1824 on Washington's birthday, hence the name Washington. Actually, this is the visitor center. Here is where you go in and see multiple exhibits that we have. You're entering the 1874 courthouse. We've restored it to what it looked like originally in 1874 when the building was completed. James Black, he was born in New Jersey and he went to Philadelphia at the ripe old age of eight years old to apprentice as a silver plater. Uh, he apprenticed from the time he was eight till he was 18. So everything that Black did basically was before he was 40 years old that he's noted for. And what he's noted for is making a Bowie knife for Jim Bowie in the early 1830s. And everybody knows that uh, Bowie died at Alamo in 1836. It also has a coffin shaped handle. And they think that the reason it did was because he was, when he was a silver plater, they plated silverware for funerals, and that's what Black's noted for doing. You know, if you're hungry for lunch while you're here, they have the Williams Tavern Restaurant, and we're gonna check it out. The building behind me here is a structure that has a lot of history to this area. The stories are that, or legend has it, that he actually fed 60 men and horses on a given night as people were coming down the Southwest Trail. We're trying to find the beautiful magnolia tree on the tree tour. I, I think it's, it's behind us. I think it's that way. Look at that thing! It was planted in 1839 by General Grandison D. Royston. There's just no way for you all to understand until you are here the magnitude of how creepy this. <laughs> it's already just crazy big. And then you get something like this that has grown into the ground. Look at that, and then has sprouted more. That's bizarre. We're on the balcony of the old jail here at historic Washington State Park, looking out at these beautiful Bodark trees. You can see 24 sites with historical significance. 
at Woolly Hollow State Park in Greenbrier where there are three trails, but we're here to really check out the waterfall. Ah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you go first. I know, I'll go first. It was really fun um, hiking over here. Oh, we got to go on the rock. My favorite part was whenever we crossed the bridge. It was really fun when we went through a lot of trees and we went, we stuck our feet in the water. When they built the dam that you can see over my shoulder, it created these natural spillways over the stones that have created some beautiful cascades and waterfalls. You know what's really cool about the dam here is that it's completely made of stone. We have just under 500 acres here at the park and our lake is 42 acres. The Huckleberry Trail goes all around the lake and it's three and a half miles long. Lake Bennett is beautiful. You can have electric motors only and they have brand new pedal boats as well as the swimming area. So this is the Woolly Cabin. It's a homestead cabin from 1882. So we have 30 RV sites, which are full hookup, 30 amp, 50 amp water and sewer at each site. We also have 10 primitive tent sites here in the park. Oh, we've got multiple trails. We have Ender's Fault Mountain Bike Trail with a north and a south loop. Hi, we're from Greenbrier and we just wanted to get out and enjoy the falls today. We have Grayson, our grandson, with us this week, so we're really having a good time. See, but look at him. That's a frog? Yes. Where? What do you mean, where? You, don't, you can't frog? tell that's a frog? Look at him. I see it now. Look how cute. We should take one back and have it as a pet at the... At the... We could put it in the pond. We cannot take a baby frog. We can't displace them from their natural Let me area. Tell you okay. Yeah. We had cats at our studio. We can have a frog. So come and discover Woolly Hollow State Park. This week on Discover Arkansas. We are at Lake Catherine State Park and we have a special co-host with us. What's Yay. your name? Madden. Madden, how old are you? I don't know. <laughs> Are you excited I... to see some waterfalls? You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good to... So good to meet you. So we've yeah. heard so many amazing things about Lake Catherine State Park. In fact, it was the first place I ever camped in Arkansas. Oh, really? Tell us what all y'all have to offer. We have over 70 campsites here. We have 20 cabins. We have a marina. All these amazing hiking trails. So tell me about the Falls Branch Trail. It's actually um, the busiest trail, the most popular trail out here at Lake Catherine State Park. You go over the suspension bridge, you see the lake, and then you get to this beautiful waterfall. And we can go swimming in the waterfall. Yes. What? Let's swimming go. in the waterfall. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 no skipping for me. I'll trip. Not a you gotta find the no. red marks. Can you find the next one? Yeah. Where is it? We found it. Yeah. Should we go? This way. Let's go. go. You're leading the way. I hope you're taking us the right path. Yeah. It's rocky. Bring water shoes. <laughs> So many fond memories have been created here and more today. Yeah, you can get on the water, get on the trail. You can even go to the nature center to learn. There's so much to offer here. What was your favorite thing about the park? Uh, waterfall. Waterfall, waterfall. <laughs> us too. Y'all come out here and discover Lake Catherine State Park and go discover Arkansas.